What the serology test tells you is whether you've had COVID-19 in the past. It detects whether an antibody is present against the virus. And we can think of antibodies as little weapons that the body uses to fight off viruses. And that's what we uh, detect in the body serum, hence the name serology, when we do this, uh, this type of testing. Throughout the University of Maryland medical system, we are testing employees for serology testing. And they're actually running two tests. One is a company test, and one is a CDC NIH derived test. The reason to do two tests is it increases the accuracy and the validity of the results. You would have a simple blood draw, just like you would any time you go to your physician to, uh, to be seen. So that blood then is uh, brought up to, the, up to the laboratory, labeled properly and brought up to the laboratory. It's pretty hands-off. Just put everything on, it goes. The test takes 48 minutes from uh, sample to completion. Now we've dedicated these two instruments to do nothing but antibody testing. This is the second step in uh, serology testing for the employees. And this is our more manual ELISA test. And we can run 80 samples on a plate. It takes much longer though than the test out there that gets stuck on the instrument and run along the nice track. This is all pipetted manually. It takes three to four hours per plate to run. The darker the blue, the more positive the well is. We're just looking at the results from today. Trying to determine the prevalence. In other words, what percent of our population actually has been exposed to the SARS-CoV-2 um, uh, uh, virus? And if we can determine that, then we can have a better idea of when we are either increasing or decreasing. We can look at things such as herd immunity and so on. The reason it's potentially important for healthcare workers is that as we know, many people are asymptomatic or very mildly symptomatic. So they may have had COVID-19 and they may never have known about it. If you're an employee and you're seeing COVID positive patients and you've been caring for them since March, day after day after day, it's extremely stressful and you're very worried. Are you putting yourself at risk? Um, are you at risk of bringing it home to you and your family or into the community? The badge of, uh, of, being, uh, of having antibodies does not mean that you're immune by any stretch. So you should uh, um, really behave with social distancing, with use of PPE, et cetera, just as you would as, as if you knew you were negative. So at this point, we're learning all the time. A lot of research is being done at the University of Maryland and at numerous places across the world to determine how long the antibodies last. Is it similar to other viruses that have been in the same family where these antibodies seemingly have lasted for a year or two, which would be great and other viruses where the antibody does mean that if you get reinfected, the chance of you getting symptoms is much lower. But at this point in time, we do not know definitively that information. As, as someone who's optimistic, I'm hoping that's the case because then this test would obviously be of tremendous value moving forward. And we're hoping to have more information related to that, hopefully in the next couple of months. It gives us in the lab a chance to uh, maybe give information to folks that they'll find valuable. And uh, so we're uh, grateful for the opportunity to do that.